Hi guys and welcome to part two of the PGR two night from the 17th of October and we're in the Grand Touring series now for these sets of races starting things off in Chicago seems like a lot of people are in the Ferrari 575 but as we come to the first corner in second we knew it was going to happen absolute carnage forced into the barrier missile attack and we're in sixth place now go around the corner and we've got uh, Null in the 550, I think that is. And Meteor there as well in the 575. We've got Jerick in the Mercedes in front. Breaking far too late for that corner. And again, we're riddled with little bits of lag here and there, making it hard to control the cars. We're in fourth place for the minute. Just undercutted Meteor there. Uh, back into fourth place. I think we switched to fifth pre uh, briefly then. We've got Henkow and Jared in front. Uh, battling for second place. Managed to skid around there. Fairly okay. So Henkow now in second place. Jerick in third place. Coming around for the second lap. Not sure who's actually behind. It's Meter Smash in fifth place. And just about getting past Jerick there into third place. This has got better acceleration. But the uh, SL55 has got better handling. So it's a bit of a trade-off really. And trying to judge this corner a little bit better this time. Doing that better. And Henkow goes a little bit wide there. So they're able to move up into second place. I think Sackers has disappeared in first place there. And we get absolutely pincered into the wall. Putting us back into fourth place. And it looks like Jared did the same to uh, Henkow there. Just forced him into the wall. So the battle of second, third and fourth is truly on. Crashed into the back of Henkow there. As he hits the wall, slowing us down a little bit. But it looks like uh, first disappeared and we've got a little cluster here. And it breaks a little too late there. Just hit the back end of Henkow. And forced him into the barrier. So that's on as even. One all. But uh, things are getting a bit more spread out now. Looks like Jerick is pulling away slightly in second after me and Henkow's little battle there. Still trying to take that at full speed or break a little bit and go in. But it's... Very hard to do. Jerick uh, not taking that so well, and me neither. Hitting the inside of the wall. So we're a good two seconds behind him, and Henkow's about a second behind. So still, still all to play for for second place. If I can make any sort of decent attempt at these corners. And coming around the, uh, the lap for the fourth lap this time. And just winding things forward now at this point because it doesn't look like the gap is closing at all. Staying around two and a half seconds. Winding forward. Taking some of these okay, but not gaining any ground really. Jerick hits the wall there and I do exactly the same thing. So there goes my opportunity to catch up. And around the finish line for the final lap and again hitting the inside. Really not judging these corners well at all. And it looks like 4th and 5th are a little bit close now. But everybody else is quite spread out at this point. 1.5 seconds again. So it stayed at the same distance away from Jerick. Not catching at all. And Sackers has already finished. Jerick gets the second place. Skid over the line. And I take third place there. So a bit of an eventful uh, race for the first one. The Grand Touring. Certainly more going on in these races than there was in the Compact Sports. But... Still in Chicago, four laps in the rain this time. And again, a few people choosing the 575. We've got Wally in front in the Lotus Esprit. And Jerick seems to have picked the Bentley there. So he's got a boat in the rain. And Wally almost spinning all the way around there, nearly a 360. But I'm managing to get ahead in first. It's quite good that we started in second place there. Last couple of events, we've actually started fairly close to the front. So that's been good. And skidding a little bit in the rain. Obviously a little bit harder to control. Really does skid further than you think. So you've got to uh, brake more than you want. But staying in first place for this portion of the track. And going on the wrong side of the barrier. Got confused which way we were going there. So that's slowed me down quite a lot. And bashing into the barrier as well. That does not help things. But it looks like 
We're staying in first place, pulling away from Jared there in the Bentley. So we'll just wind things forward until things start getting more interesting. I think it is on about the third lap. So I think we wind forward a lap. As we can see, Sakis has now overtaken Jerrick, and he's also in the 575. So he's about three seconds behind, coming into the third lap now. So it's about me trying to drive as best as I can to stop Sakis catching up. So he's 2.6 seconds behind now, so he is gaining. Seeing who can make the least amount of mistakes. Got a lap and a half to uh, try and see him off or hold him off. And I made an awful mistake there. It's really about consistency in this PGR of how well you can do on each corner and mistakes are punished pretty easily. So he's only two seconds behind now. And we've still got over a lap to go. Just looking behind, we can see him in the picture now. 1.3 seconds, so he's gained a lot of time through that part. Taking that fairly okay though, learning to drift the car in the wet a bit more. Coming across the finish line for the last lap, 1.4 seconds, so I actually pulled away from him slightly there, taking that bit a little bit better. And not too bad a line through there, probably enough to make sure he doesn't catch up too much. And again, not so bad through there. He's just there still though, 1.3 seconds, so I think he's gained a tenth at that point, and Turned in too quickly there. So had to adjust, and he has gained quite a lot through that corner. So it's whether we can hold him off until the finish line. It's going to be very close, this one. Crashing into the barrier as well, sliding into it. Gives him a lot of space to catch up. He's only four tenths behind now. Onto the last corner for the last straight. See if we can hold him off for this point. Have a little look behind, he is right there, and he sort of teleported then. Seemed to get a lot closer in that second look. But just managed to hold him off until the finish line, only a tenth behind. If that was another lap, that would have been very interesting. But managed to get the win, Sack is second, just. Jerick manages to hold in, uh, on into third place there in the Bentley. They've got Meteor in fourth, Henkow fifth, Noll sixth, and Wally in seventh there. So, a couple interesting cars that were used in that one, but we move on to... Hong Kong, and I move into the Mercedes SL55. Not too bad a car to use, but it does lack that speed compared to the Ferraris in this. But this isn't too bad a track to use this car on because of the better handling. So Hank Howe in first, and a bit of a crash on that corner, but not too bad actually considering how tight that corner is. But Sakis and Jerick in front. Jarek might be in the 550 there, the Barchetta. Sakis in the 575. And just trying to get past Sakis at this point, so we're in fourth place. Managing to go on the inside on this corner up into third. Jarek in second, Henkow holding on to that first position. Jarek hits the barrier a little bit there, slowing him down. And they both go wide there, allowing me to go into first place. With Sakis following into second. You can see the straight line speed of the 575 there as he's right up the bumper. Trying to get any sort of uh, room to make a manoeuvre. And I turn in way too quick there, hitting the barrier. But managing to hold on to first place. You can see the Ferrari bumper just keeps coming into the picture there. And again, you can see that straight line speed of the 575. Sack is flying past there. I think he got a better exit on that corner anyway. Tries to go on the inside and just completely hit the back end of Sakis, spinning him round. So just wait for him to recover there before carrying on. So across the line for the second lap in second place. Sakis just in front, Henkow just behind. Nearly doing that fairly well, just hitting the barrier on the last bit there. So it means Sakis can pull away now. And Henkow comes flying in behind before. I think he's right behind. Yep, still only a tenth behind. And we see him there just forcing us into the, the wall. But it looks like we're just able to get away for the moment. Taking that corner fairly nicely. And probably could have gone a bit quicker through there. But Henkow still in the picture in third place. And turning in too quickly on that corner as well, hitting the barrier. I can see a little bit of lag coming here and there. 
just making things that little bit more difficult. But still just about in contention with Sakis. It's about a second and a half ahead. And hitting the wall again, so that's not helping us out. Doing this bit fairly nicely. And that bit not so bad as well. It's just that little bit too far ahead to get into the, the slipstream. Taking that bit, not too bad. Again, he's onto the straight now, so the straight line speed of that Ferrari is going to help him out. And 1.5 seconds again, so no time was gained or lost through that bit. And that was a decent corner until the very last bit just accelerated over that hump and went straight into the barrier. So we've got a couple laps left. I'm just going to fast forward this. Henkow's now nearly seven seconds behind, so third place is, is gone now. So it's just whether anything is going to happen between first and second at this point. And Sakis is now 2.7 seconds ahead. So I don't think it's going to be a challenge mounted at this point. But I do gain a tenth through there. It's so 2.6 seconds. Make a bit of a hash of that. And Jerick actually goes into third place now, as we see. He was about 10 seconds behind there. And again, hitting the corner on that section again. Not doing that particularly well. Sackers is 3.7 seconds ahead now. So that's going to be it for this race because we're on to the final hairpin. And across the line there in second place. First half of the race was a good battle, but then it opened up quite a lot more there. And uh, 4.2 seconds behind in the end. Jerick got third place there. Or still running for third now. He's just finished third. Henkow in fourth. Noll in fifth. Meteor in sixth. And Wally in seventh in the Lotus Esprit. Meteor actually used the Ferrari Testarossa there, so a little bit of a different car. But now we move on to, I think this is the final event that we use the Grand Touring Series for. So again, I'm in the Mercedes, probably should have gone back to the Ferrari, but uh, decided to stick in this. So we're in third place to start things off. Jerick in first, Sakis in second place. Knowledge comes on the inside there in the 550s. He moves up into third. And a bit of, uh, of a cluster of us here now onto the straight. We can see the 575 pulling away from this Mercedes. It's just a little bit down on power, unfortunately. Taking that corner quite nicely. Henkow goes a little bit wide, so does Noll, and as they're coming together between the three of us, Henkow gets the benefit there, going into third place. Noll goes a little bit wide there, allowing us to go into fourth place. And not breaking enough there. It's completely hitting the barrier. But we've got uh, Jerick in first. Saka second. Henkow in third. And I'm taking that corner awfully. And then skidding on the curb. So losing touch with the top three at the moment. With some pretty, uh, pretty poor driving at this point. So Henkow's second ahead. And Meteor's just behind. With Null just behind him. Again, the group of three breaking away a little bit there. And everybody just breaking a little bit too late, including myself, just hitting that uh, the wall there. But there's a couple right behind me now, challenging for fourth place. Meteor takes that corner really well. And I've got to move over to let him through. Henkow's disappearing in third a little bit. Taking that corner okay, just about cutting off Meteor there in, in fifth place. And now onto the straight again. Looks like Sackers is overtaking Jared there, so he's in first. Jarek second, Henkow in third place for the moment. And absolutely wrecking this bit on the straight there. Horrendous corner, allowing Meteor to fly past into fourth place. Really not having the best race and then going into the inside of the barrier as well, slowing us down. And again, into the outside of that barrier. So it's just been pretty horrendous. But see if we can drive better from now on to make any places back. Taking that fairly okay. And that one as well. So now we're on the tail of Meteor. Can we stick with him? Even with the better acceleration. Come into the corner. Breaking earlier this time. More wary of that. But uh, if anything, too cautious this time. Over the hump corner, 
Meteor just hits the wall there slightly, and I couldn't get around him at that point, so rear end him into the third lap, only just ahead. Henkel's still there in third. And just hit him into the wall and bounce off in there, slowing me down. But again, third place is still reachable, and Noel's just behind in sixth there, trying to catch up in that 550. taking this fairly well and just going on the inside of Meteor there he went a little bit wide so up into fourth place first and second place are quite far ahead now and just grazing the barrier that time but not as bad as the first couple of laps and not doing that so bad so we are making some ground on Henko now Again, lots of lag appearing. Screen jittering all over the place. Back onto the straight, and we can see Jerek actually in second place. Just appearing on the screen in the distance. Come around this corner, and Encal broke way too late there. And that allows us to hopefully move up around the outside of him. Which we do just about, but hit the barrier. That's going to hinder us, but we come into the... Final lap in third place, but Henkel's making a move up the inside, trying to regain that position. Just able to close off that uh, position there. And just about staying ahead on the straight, although there is the bumper of the Ferrari. And he pins us against the wall there slightly. So we've got to try and regain this third place. Looks like Sakis has disappeared in first, Jerick in second. And Henkau goes wide again on that corner. And I go wide again on that corner. So we've still got Henkau and Meteor there, fourth and fifth. Still anybody's race to get third place at this point. Again, the sc uh, screen jittering a little bit. But still just about staying ahead. Jerick's about four seconds ahead. You can see him in the picture there. And have we just about got enough distance now to keep that third place? Go around here and meet <laughs> Henkel comes in for the takedown, but actually misses. So that was a close one on the second to last corner anyway. But we do manage to cross in third place there. Henkel gets fourth and Meteor gets fifth. jerick has got second and Sakis in first there and Noel 16 seconds behind in sixth. Nacho seventh in the 575 and Wally was in the Lotus there. So that's going to do it for part two guys. In part three we are in the Sports Coupe series so that should be good as well so I'll see you in that one.